A Story of Alchema At the time of the Prophet peace be upon him, there was a young man named Alchema. He was very diligent in obeying Allah by engaging in prayer and fasting and spending in charity. Then he fell ill and his illness became serious. His wife went to the Prophet and said, My husband, Alchema, is on his deathbed. I therefore came to tell you, Messenger of Allah, about his condition. The Prophet then sent for Amar or Sahib and Bailal and told them to go to him, Alchema, and have him repeat the Shahada. Thereupon they went to him and found him in the agony of death. They asked him to say, La ilaha illa Allah, but his tongue was unable to pronounce it. At that, they came and told the Messenger of Allah that he was unable to repeat the Shahada. The Prophet asked, Is either of his parents alive? He was told, Messenger of Allah, his mother is, but she is very old. The Prophet sent her a message that if it was convenient for her that is, is she was able to go out, she should come to him, otherwise she should stay in her house and the Prophet would come to her. The Prophet's messenger came to her and informed her of the Prophet's message. She said, may my life be a ransom for him, it is my pleasure to go to him. She then stood up, leaning on her walking stick and came to the Prophet and greeted him. The Prophet returned her greeting and said to her, You Imim, Alkama, tell me the truth for otherwise, Allah Most High will reveal the truth to me. What is the situation concerning your son? Alkama, she replied, Messenger of Allah, he prays much, fasts a great deal, and spends a great amount in charity. The Prophet said, And what about yourself? She said, Messenger of Allah, I am angry with him. He said, why? She replied, Messenger of Allah, he has preferred his wife to me and has disobeyed me. Then Allah's messenger said, You imam al -Kuma, surely your anger has prevented al -Kama's. tongue from pronouncing the Shahada. He then turned to Bailal and said, Bailal, go out and collect a quantity of firewood. She said, Messenger of Allah, what do you plan to do? He replied, I will burn him in front of your eyes. She said, Messenger of Allah, he is my son. My heart cannot bear your burning him in front of me, he said. UMM, Elkama, Allah's punishment is more severe and more lasting. Therefore, if you want Allah to forgive him, be reconciled to him. By the one in whose hand is my soul, the pray, fasting and spending in charity, which he has done are of no benefit to Elkama as long as you are angry with him. Thereupon she said, Messenger of Allah, I call upon Allah Most High and His angels and the Muslims who are present to be my witnesses that I am pleased with my son. al -Kama, Allah's messenger said, Bailal, go to him and see whether he is now able to say, La ilaha illa Allah or not. It may be that you remember al -Kama is saying something for my sake which is not in her heart. Thereupon Bailal went and while entering the door he heard al -Kama saying, La ilaha illa Allah concerning this. Bailal remarked, It is surely true that while Alkama's mother was angry with him his tongue was tied, and now that she is pleased with him his tongue is freed. Alkama died the same day. The Prophet came to him and gave the order for his washing and shrouding, and then prayed the funeral prayer for him and buried him. He then stood by the side of his grave and said, You company of Mahajirin and help us if anyone feathers his wife over his mother, Allah, and his angels and all the people curse him. Allah does not accept his spending in charity and his uprightness unless he repents toward Allah, the glorious and majestic, and reconciles with her and attains her pleasure, because Allah's pleasure consists in her pleasure and Allah's anger consists in her anger.